Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well and I miss everybody so much. I know these past few weeks have been a little crazy, so I have a small science experiment that you can try at home. I know we've all been told how important it is to wash our hands and it's always important to wash your hands, but today I wanna to show you just what soap can do to germs. So come with me and we'll do a little science experiment and I'll show you exactly what you need and what you're gonna do. Hey guys, welcome to my lab or as my mom likes to call it, our kitchen. Today for your experiment, you're only gonna need a few things. The first thing is some water. Second thing is some pepper. Third thing, some soap. And finally, you'll need a small plate or some saucer, something shallow that you can pour the water in. The first part of our experiment is to take some water and pour it into our bowl or plate. You don't need that much, just enough to cover the bottom. Then, get your pepper. The pepper is going to represent all the germs that cover the surfaces we touch daily. Just put a little bit of pepper into your water. You don't need a lot, and you don't need to make a mess. That should be enough. Now that you poured the pepper in the water, what you can do is take one finger and put it in the water. What you'll notice is that the pepper doesn't really move around a lot, okay? And you may, even get a little bit of pepper on your finger. That's like germs getting onto your hands. The next step is the coolest part, so I hope you're ready for this. After you've dipped your finger into the pepper water, dry it off, and then get your soap. Put a little bit of soap onto the tip of your finger, and then rub it in. Now's the fun part. Take your finger covered with soap and put it into the pepper water, and watch all of the pepper move away from your finger. And that's exactly what soap does to germs. So please, always remember to wash your hands. Steve, you better clean that up. And always remember to help your parents clean up. Bye, everybody.